Hey, what's going on everybody? So before this video starts, I just wanted to take a minute to say thank you guys so, so, so much for 10,000 subscribers. I'm literally still in disbelief right now that we've actually hit 10K. It's just so unreal for me. I'm gonna be talking a whole lot more about that next week's video, which is also gonna be the crazy compilation of all the best muddy moments and off-roading moments and everything since we started filming that stuff. I'm gonna be spending hours and hours making that video and going through old videos and finding all the best stuff for it. So make sure you guys watch that one. It's gonna be amazing, I promise. And then the week after that, we're already planning to get another crazy mudding video out for you guys. So just thank you guys all so much. You smashed that goal. We're going to be keeping the quality of the mudding videos top notch. Just getting better every single video. And we're going to be trying to do less sit down talking videos and more just strictly mudding videos. So see how that goes. But anyways guys for now, enjoy the video. What's up everybody? So in our last video, we were talking to you guys about how we are getting some stuff sent to us from a company and we are hooking up with a company to do a video. So today we are going to be showing you guys what they sent to us and we are going to be doing a little install video and a review. So, yeah. it. so show you guys what we got right here. What are, what are the... <laughs> Alright guys, so what we got here is an LED headlight kit and we got it from a company called Oxbeam. They hooked us up. So basically we're going to do an install video today, see what they're all about, see if their product's good and we'll let you guys know and right here is the FS2 series and as you can see our headlights are blacked out and ever since we've gotten these headlights, everything at night is super super dark and literally like you can drive around with your brights on and even with your brights on you still can barely see compared to what you can usually see. So. With some LED lights, I'm sure it's going to fix our problem and as many of you out there probably have as well, you guys probably have some blocked out headlights too because it looks really good, so. Creeping. <laughs> see what these LEDs are all about. Shall we get started or what? <laughs> so as you can see, the truck's a little muddy from the last video still, but that's all good. So basically for the 2002 to 2005 Dodge Ram, you got three bolts you're going to have to take out. One right here, one right there. And there's one really annoying one way back in there. But luckily for me, I got the body lift, so there's a little bit of extra room, I'm like Braden. Stuck, broken, it's not working. Okay, so Mitchell got one of his lights in. As you can tell, that ain't it. Even though there's sunlight, you can still see the difference. So this right here is with the LED installed. Christ, even in the sun you can see that there's a difference. Once it gets dark, it's gonna be crazy. You don't have to look at it at nighttime. Come look at the camera right now. You guys can see there's a clear difference right there. Oh, that's beautiful. And it's in the sun right now. So another cool thing about these headlights is there's a built-in fan to the back of them. So it can't overheat or anything like that and it just keeps it nice and cool. And you can hear the this one running right now. I don't know if you put the camera by, you can hear it. Oh, got a little wasp. You guys know your headlight bulbs are good when they have a built-in fan. So how do you feel about the one light installed so far? I feel like these things are going to be wicked bright and I cannot wait to see it at night time, man. I have a feeling you're not going to be able to drive around to your uh, high beams on anymore? Yeah, I'm going to have to put them to regular now. It'll be really good for night driving too. I won't have to worry about hitting deer and stuff as much. So one thing that you guys are going to need to know about this, if you're installing the same headlights, is on our trucks, we have this little ring there that needs to go around there but as you can see it doesn't fit over and it won't go from the bottom either because that fans so what they send with this little kit is this super tiny allen key right there and there's this tiny tiny screw and it goes in right there so the screws right there and you got to use this little allen key to get it out and then that piece comes down or comes off from the top a whole guard and everything I'm trying to be nice to it because i don't want to smash the led <laughs> like that yeah so it's like that and then you can just Put the ring on like that, so then you're good to go. Oxbeam's not f***ing around. <laughs> We're gonna have to beat that out. <laughs> Oxbeam's not messing around. There we go. Yeah, so far, pretty impressed. Okay, so Mitchell, you wanna tell me what you're doing or what? Unscrewing it. Trying to look pretty. There we go, that's better, eh? <laughs> I broke your tool, bro, sorry. <laughs> There's a stock one. Looks really terrible. Is it even on? It's the other one. Try to put these bulbs in for the our trucks. You just twist this thing, one little turn, and then it pops out like that. And then you have uh, this. Get over there! Yeah, these bulbs I had in before are supposed to be brighter than stock ones, 
but still at night I could see absolutely nothing so it's time it's time for the LEDs a little bit of comparison though which bulb looks like the alpha male definitely the one on the right oh yeah this is definitely the no this one so yeah, just pop that bulb back in like that boom just like that and she's good to go and you just plug the power back in and check that out guys that's how she looks in the back and if you took the headlight out, you know how to get it back in. Hopefully. And here's Braden's putting together his second one. Mine are both installed already. A little flash. Holy smokes. Holy, I'm blind, dude. Dude, so am I. Jesus. Great. That is so bright. <laughs> little fans going. Man, I don't even know they made headlight bulbs with fans in them. Well, I wish I had some headlights for the second gen over there. His are both installed now. So, off, you don't mind. I think we're going to go over into the shade over there and show you guys what they look like in the shade. The garage horn stopped working because I guess I got water in them from ripping through that shit. And by the way guys, about the Lecoup garage horn, figured out that the relay was just bad. It's all corroded and stuff there a bit. So, thinking that if I put a new one of these in, that the horn will work just fine again. So, yeah, we had the, he put the screwdriver up to it <laughs> and the thing went off and started blasting again. So. Oh, should work just fine once we get a new one of these in. So they're in the shade right now. And these headlights are really dirty still from mudding. And it's still super, super bright. Just low beaming. That's just low beam. Put on the high beam. Oh yeah. She looks scary now, holy smokes. What is that? Look at that. Little baby bunny. <laughs> and Braden's headlights just turned off because I guess there's an automatic shut off on these things. So if you leave your lights on and your truck's not actually running, then they'll shut off after a few minutes. Scared the hell out of me. I thought they were broken already. <laughs> well, guys, that's pretty much it for this install video. More screwing around than was just installing it. We got lots more stuff at uh, Oxbeam besides just headlights. You can get them for all vehicle brands, not just Dodge, obviously. So you guys. If you're looking to get some LED lights or anything like that, you go check them out. And also guys, one more thing that I forgot to mention when we were actually shooting the video, is that if you are interested in these products or buying anything from Oxbeam, we have a 10% off code, which I'll put on the screen right now. So if by chance you happen to be looking for some LED headlights or something like that, there you go, save 10% guys. I'm pretty happy with the LED headlights. Big shout out to Oxbeam for hooking us up, thank you. The lights look freaking amazing. We'll leave a link to their website in the description below and you just check them out, oxbeam.com. For the rest of the video, I'm just gonna roll a clip of uh, what these headlights look like in the nighttime, so. See you guys next week. <laughs> and just one more thing that we figured out that these headlights do that's pretty cool is if it's sitting for a while and you press unlock on your uh, keys or whatever, it does this. Boom. Oh, I pressed locked, but. And if your truck's sitting unlocked for a while and then you open the door, It'll do the same thing, which is pretty cool. I like the little things like that, so just thought I'd show you guys that too. It's full of surprises. For the rest of the video, I'm just gonna roll a clip of uh, what these headlights look like in the nighttime, so.
see you guys next week. <laughs>